this bar of gold came from the trash. Anytime when I'm going to a landfill, I talk to my kids. I told them, you smell the trash and I smell money. He's an entrepreneur who runs a successful recycling business, now with almost a dozen employees. The recycling industry is not just booming, it's reshaping the landscape of sustainable employment and entrepreneurial success. With an ever-growing focus on sustainability, this sector offers a golden opportunity for those who are looking to make a significant impact, both environmentally and financially. Take for example, the inspiring story of a 29-year-old entrepreneur who has brilliantly turned discarded plastic bags into a profitable business venture. By mixing this bag with sand to create a durable lightweight brick, this innovator has not only found a use for a widely discarded material but also created a product that's more affordable and sustainable than traditional cement. These bricks have been used to pay walkways in homes and schools showcasing the practical application of this innovative idea. This entrepreneur's success story perfectly illustrates the powerful business principle of maintaining low raw material costs that help to maximize the profit margin. In this case, cost is almost negligible as a raw material discarded plastic bag is abandoned and typically considered worthless. This approach not only benefits the environment by reducing waste but also highlights the immense potential for profitability in the recycling industry. According to the World Bank, around 2.2 billion tons of waste are produced globally each year. Around 270 million tons of waste that gets recycled which is equates to weight of 740 imperial state building. Such huge numbers are the result of population growth and tremendous manufacturing industry which has led the recycling industry, the global hub of the world and it is quite obvious too. The rate of waste is directly proportional to the rate of manufacturing and hence as there is a tremendous growth in the manufacturing sector leading to same in the waste generation. This leads us to the point that upcoming 5 years are to be the boom in the industry of recycling. So prepare to revolutionize your mindset, the world of recycling is not just about being eco-friendly, it's about uncovering the billion dollar potential in what others discard. By turning trash into treasure, you are not just contributing to a more sustainable world, you are also tapping into a lucrative market that rips for innovation and growth. The recycling business is a domain where environmental responsibility meets entrepreneurial world and the opportunity are as vast as your imagination. And guys, please wait till the end and watch the full video as we'll be sharing a business idea regarding recycling that can benefit you. Now let's talk about several recycling industry business that have experienced success and generated profits. Like we saw in the case of Nigerian entrepreneur, however, it is essential to note that the profitability of business can be influenced by various factors, including market condition, government policy, and operational efficiency. Here are a few more examples of recycling industry businesses that have been success. First is Thali, which is an Indian word for plastic bag. It is a 23-year Indian startup who turns plastic bags into sneaker shoes. The company claims that a single pair of shoes is made from 10 10 plastic bags and 12 plastic bottles. The company outsourced the plastic bag and waste from rack pickers. The bags are clean in hot water without any chemical and then dried. Using simple heating technique, Thali creates Thali Tex, a material made entirely from plastic bags and no chemical. The waste is then converted into a very normal looking sneaker. You won't be able to tell the difference between conventional sneakers and one made from trash. The business is already profitable and the environment first startup ships the shoes anywhere in the world for $110. Looking at the vision along the price, would you consider buying a pair for yourself? Do let me know in the comment section. Second one is MoScript, a sustainable decor brand based in South Africa, started by the brains of two sisters in 2060. The brand expertise majorly in handmade basket and planters that are made from old PVC water pipes, which are reclaimed from landfills and building sites around South Africa. After washing, the pipes are exposed to a small amount of heat, which allows them to be expertly cut into strips by skilled artisan. One small section of pipe equals meter of weighing material. Each basket can take up to 7 hours to be made. Add this basket to your home space as a textural art that is multifunctional and planter can be used for your plant babies. This brings us to an amazing point that if one think of doing something, they can really turn gold from trash like in the above example. Apart from knowing the business that are booming in the field, there's something even more important that I want you all to know about and that's the EPR concept. Yes. EPR which stands for Extended Producer Responsibility, which is a concept in environmental policy where manufacturers are held responsible for the end of the life management of the products they produce. A real-life example of EPR in action is the Electronic Waste Recycling Program implemented by various electronic manufacturers and retailers. Many electronic manufacturers such as Apple, Samsung and Dell have created an e-waste cycling program as a part of their EPR initiative. 
This program are designed to take back used or old electronic product from consumer and ensure the responsible disposal or recycling. Governments around the world have been taking steps to implement and strengthen EPR regulation to ensure sustainable production and waste management. Because of this EPR mandate policy, it will benefit the environment by giving manufacturer a financial initiative to supply packaging that is recyclable, reusable and refillable. Now coming to the business idea that we talked about sharing at the starting of the video is the world of upcycling. But what exactly is upcycling? It's a creative process where items that are no longer in use are given a new life and a function. This transformative approach is simple to start and perfect for a side hustle. The range of product one can create is vast, from turning old clothing into trendy fashion accessories, crafting discarded wood into beautiful artisan furniture, to repurposing glass bottles into charming decorative items. But what makes upcycling a particular attractive business model is, firstly it is operated by providing a unique service to individual consumer. Imagine a cherished item no longer functional, but filled with sentiment values. So as an upcycler, you have the magical ability to give a new life and utility to this item, preserving memories while offering the creative service for a price. And secondly, there's something a traditional route. Finding a product line that resonates your passion and sourcing materials by partnering with local business and waste management companies. This path involves transformative discarded items into something valuable and marketing your creation through a social media presence. The venture we started as a side hustle holds the potential to grow into a substantial revenue source. Not only does it provide financial return, it will also make a positive environmental impact while earning too. So this brings us to the end of our video. If you found the video insightful, do share with your friends, drop a like and subscribe for more such content.